Deborah, I have grabbed you out of your very busy schedule. Thank You've you. just come out of meetings. Yes, yes, with the Writers Guild. Oh, all right, there you go. And we're here at the Unicorn Theatre. It's a lovely theatre here in London. Um, but we're talking about Serrano. Is this Serrano de Bergerac? It is. I thought it, it was. <laughs> and um, and we're um, the anglicised sort of um, iambic Serrano uh, is uh, not what we're calling it. We're calling it Serrano. Cyrano. And actually, we've, we've truncated it to just Cyrano, so it's okay. not even Cyrano de Bergerac. With Cyrano, it felt to be such a of its time and place that I've left it there. But the 17th actors, century French. 17th century French, but yeah. it was written in the 19th century. Yes, so it the, was. Actual, the style of the play is very like a melodrama. Right. Um, so it's not like a restoration or a you know a, a late Renaissance play at all. It's a it's a Victorian melodrama really. Right. I've always known it, always loved it, and it was one of those moments when Con went, why don't you do it? So I said, oh yes, I I quite like to do it. Thank you very much. Um, so <laughs> then I did it. And um, how long does it take you? It's really hard to say because I'm usually working on more than one thing at a time. Right. So actually so come, going coming this back out, to it. So I'll do a fortnight or a month's work on one thing and kind of get that wrestled into shape and then I'll go and work on something else and then I'll come back to and that. You'll, so you'll go and do something, have a coffee with someone, then you go, yeah, I know yeah, about that scene. Yeah, I'm and in, suddenly yeah. you come back, you do a bit of ironing. Do you have a, do you have a notepad by your bed? I do. Tell me about Serrano. Is it? I've read a little bit. I, I'm no, not familiar with it. Okay. Um, but I was aware that it was a 19th century play. Play about a 17th century character. Yeah. Um, largely by like true to life, but a bit exaggerated. Yeah. And well, it's sort of. I mean, it sounds like a bit of a rock. It's a, it, 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 well, it's very romantic and okay. it's very moving actually. And um, the real Cyrano de Bergerac, who was a real man, um, and had all these great wonderful skills was probably gay so the idea that Cyrano in the play who has this great lover of this beautiful woman that's not historically quite accurate right. um, but Rostand did this wonderful thing of making him this just this great lover who is never able to kind of overcome his own sort of body dysmorphic or disorder really but he's got a big nose oh, so right. he's got a massive nose and he <laughs> can't get past it and you know and he's a great swordsman and writer and poet and raconteur we all have our crossed yes. and he's got and he's he, he can't get past the fact that he's ugly and he's in love with this very beautiful very brilliant young woman called Roxanne who herself has cast an eye over a very handsome young baron who's just arrived in town um, and she asks Cyrano to kind of go between them, which is very hurtful to Cyrano, but because he, of course he goes, of course, why would she love me? I'm ugly. <laughs> he sort of goes with it and in a very generous way because he's got a big, great, he's a great spirit like that. Um, but Roxanne, being the sort of intellectual that she is, wants letters. And Christian, the object of her desire, isn't really a letter writer. Okay. You know, he's like nice but dim. And so um, Cyrano, writes the letters for him oh. and then you get this lovely well that seems right for a romantic drama, comedy and theater. drama is and there and music in it there is and there's a lot more music there's music in the original but there's a lot more music in our version because the kind of work that i create with conrad nelson often has a a, a strong musical element and there's a very very famous even though you might not know of it there's a very famous sequence in the play where cyrano pretends to have fallen from the moon in order to delay a person on their way to somewhere um, and it's quite famous um, but it's a bit boring <laughs> so you had to zush it up so basically you know we, I said this needs to be a big musical section with musical narrative kind of going through it and um, to just give it a bit of something really must break a leg with it and um, yeah fantastic it's so nice to hear about it. to meet you thank you